Hello, Lone Fox family. Welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here, and today I am doing another episode in my little thrift flip series that I do here on my channel. I've just been so inspired, honestly, by McKenna's videos that she's been doing over on XO McKenna, which I love her so much, and her videos are just really amazing, and I've been wanting to do a lot more stuff with thrifted items lately, so today is the day that I'm going to be going to the thrift store. I literally woke up like an hour ago, so I'm gonna change really quickly, head to the thrift store, see if I could find some really cool items to just transform for this video and if you're not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new videos every single week on DIY home decor interior design thrift flips like upcycling whatever it might be I post them all the time so definitely subscribe click the bell icon next to it and you can also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox home I'll put it right up here for you guys uh, I post more behind the scenes type of stuff over there oh, what was that? I'm literally scared so I'm just gonna go to the thrift store and get out of here Ooh, look at this desk. It's only $19.99. Something about this is kind of cute. I think this desk, I need this desk because it's honestly a great size and it's super cute and it's very sturdy. It's only $20. And I feel like there's a lot of opportunity to redo this desk for some reason. I think my desk will fit inside my tote bag that I brought. By the way, available on lonefox.com if you want one. I always bring this with me everywhere now because I just carry all of my finds inside of here. I swear the thrift store today actually has some like good substantial pieces. Or just seems a little bit more organized, like a wooden bowl. Look at this brass tray down here. I feel like this can definitely, this is like a firewood holder, I know that, but I feel like this could be turned into something. I don't know why, but I literally find pieces from Target like full on $34.99 wooden piece, $7.99. I'm gonna do something with this for sure. I'm getting this because I've always wanted this piece, but I'm not gonna spend $35 on this cut piece of wood. You have oh, to do wow. that. Wow, that could be turning into something good. Yeah. Oh, it's like wooden. A coffee table trunk storage device option. Really feel like I'm hitting the jackpot today. Like, I found this floor lamp. It's $12, but it's like a full on floor lamp. It's wrapped in leather, but it's really beat up. So I would definitely pull the leather off of it. Something about this just like is great. And I also put this little lampshade on top of it, but this one's super, super dirty, but the lampshade looks amazing at this size on top of here. Okay, we're literally testing this light right now. We had to put one bulb in and it didn't turn on, but then I tested the bulb in multiple Wait, other lights. Oh yeah, let's test it first. Let's see if this light bulb works. Oh, yeah. oh my God, it works. The light bulb. Yeah, this light bulb screws in. Oh my god, it worked. Period. We're getting this. I am very, very happy with these thrift finds today because I literally can never find anything at this particular Goodwill. And I just feel like these are going to be such great pieces. So I got the trunk, the tray little candle holder and this tall floor lamp, which I'm very excited to redo. And I'm gonna see you guys back at my apartment where we're gonna kind of like deconstruct these items, clean them up a bit, and then just redo them and refresh them and turn them into something brand new, which I'm very excited for. So I'll catch you soon. Honestly, I am so excited for this video. We are starting off with a floor lamp and it looked like this. I got this for $12.99 at Goodwill. And what I'm starting off by doing is taking an X-Acto knife and just going down the back seam that this leather was sewn on with and just cutting off the leather. And the thing that was amazing is that it actually wasn't even glued down to the base. It was just like wrapped around and that was really all. And I made sure to also cut it off at the bottom with the X-Acto knife as well. We just want to discard this leather piece because it was a little dusted and a little bit crusted. So next what I did was I grabbed some marble contact paper and I picked this up on Amazon. I'm going to link the exact one below because this is such a stunning color of marble. It's like the whitish color, but it has hints of warm tones in it as well, which is something that I love. And I'm just going to be wrapping the base of this entire lamp in this marble contact paper. And I love how the base was kind of just a plasticky resin material because it was super smooth and easy to apply the contact paper to. So how I did this was I actually just started at the top 
and works my way to the bottom. And I also want to be completely transparent with you guys and let you know that the backside of this lamp was not the most incredible looking masterpiece I've done. The back was a little bit challenging just because this does taper from like smaller at the top to larger at the bottom. So it was a bit hard to get the contact paper to like warp correctly around the entire lamp. But if you do have some air bubbles, just poke them with your X-Acto knife, make the tiniest little pinhole, um, as you can see here, and then just kind of like push the air out of the hole. And that's how you pop those random air bubbles you get. So on the back, I was actually left with this triangle shape. So I applied another piece of contact paper just on top of it and just cut it out very freehand. And this is what I meant by the back not looking the best as you could see here. But if you place this against the wall or in a corner or put the back against something that people won't see, it's not a humongous issue. And I finished it off with a lampshade that McKenna actually let me borrow. And it was only $2.99, which is amazing. So the total cost of this floor lamp ended up being $26. And look how the outcome turned out. Moving our way into project number two, this one is a little bit more on the smaller scale, but I loved the outcome. So I think you guys saw me thrift the little wooden tray and also the candle holder. So what I'm starting off by doing is taking this handsaw from the dollar store and I'm cutting off these end pieces. Now, I already have like a very similar wood tray to this in my collection. So I didn't want them to be on this when I created it into like a different style of tray, which you're gonna see in a second. So I decided just to use the handsaw to cut these off. And I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, no, I can't believe you're cutting those off because they do look really nice on there, but for what I wanted to create and upcycle this piece into, they just didn't look the best. So I cut them off of both sides and it was actually super simple. These wooden pieces here are actually made of mango wood, which is a very, very soft wood. So it's pretty easy uh, to actually just break them off. So this is what the tray ended up looking like without the handles on it. And I just went in with a sandpaper, a fine sandpaper, and just made sure that those edges were nice and smooth. That way it just looked like those handles weren't even on there in the first place. And I next placed on my candle holder and I pushed down the little like center needle prong thing into the actual wood and used a hammer to hammer down the edge of the brass because I actually wanted the brass kind of base to wrap around the wood and make it look like it was created for this piece. I really wanted it to look like a solid piece. And if I didn't do this, you actually would be able to see kind of like that it was a candle holder just glued onto the tray. So I used my quick hold adhesive, which is my favorite glue ever. It's like E6000, but a quicker bond. Placed it down, hammered it a little bit more just to make sure everything was nice and secure. And then once you were completely done letting this set overnight, the total cost was only $12. And you end up with this really cute kind of mixed material elevated tray. Okay, here's the project we have all been waiting for. I love the outcome of this, but you guys, I went through so much trial and error and I am keeping it in the video so you guys can see kind of my process of creation. So what I started off by doing was just giving this a light sanding on all of that kind of turquoise area and then wiping it off once it was done. This was almost like a plasticky material. So I just wanted to give it some grip. That way when I sprayed it, it was nice and adhered. And what I thought to do first, which I don't know why I did this, was just masking tape off every single piece of black. And I started doing this and after about 10 minutes of masking tape I was like this is gonna take me three hours to tape everything off so I immediately flipped the trunk over and I just wanted to test out if I was to spray the entire trunk green and paint over the green sections that are supposed to be gold with the gold paint so that's exactly what I did I gave it a full on couple coats of this green spray paint. And I will link the exact green one I used below. I don't know why I didn't film a little clip of it, but I believe it was the Hunter Green two times cover from Rust-Oleum, but I'll make sure to link it for you guys in case you are curious. It was such a pretty color in the end. It looks a little bit bright on screen, um, but it's more of like an emerald kind of dark green color. So I went through, I gave multiple coats of this just so that it didn't drip or anything. And then once it was completely dry, this is kind of where everything went downhill. I used my gilded brass paint, which you guys have seen me use before. This is from Michael's Craft Store. And I was gonna go through and paint every single part with the gold paint. But literally, the this gold paint is made of some kind of like 
I don't know what chemical is in this, but it was eating off the green spray paint. So everything started blending together. It was not good. So the next day I ended up unscrewing every single component on this trunk, every part, pulling off every single piece, as you can see here. This took me literally like probably four hours to do all of this process. Um, I laid it down on a trash bag. It looks like I'm having a seance or something. <laughs> I don't even know. And then I gilded it all with the gold spray paint that I always use, which I'll link this one below for you guys clearly i did not film my spray paints for this video i don't know why it's the 18 karat gold rust-oleum spray paint and then i literally went back once everything was dry and put it all back together this was definitely a trial and error process but it ended up turning out amazing so you can kind of see here i spent like an hour reconstructing this entire crate but it was kind of fun it reminded me of when i used to do legos so it, I didn't really want to share with you guys like the entire process of this because not all of you are going to be able to find this identical trunk and every trunk is going to be a little bit different. So I'm just sharing with you what I did per se. And then I was a bit conflicted. So I went onto my Instagram story and asked you guys if I should leave the screws green or if I should paint them gold and green ended up winning, which I actually kind of liked the green anyways. It added a bit of contrast. So I finished off this trunk by giving it a couple coats of just a clear gloss finish. And I gave probably like four coats just so it had a kind of a very glossy sheen in the end. End. and you could add wheels. I actually had purchased these for this trunk, but I ended up liking it a bit more without the wheels. So I just left them as is, but I wanted to share them anyways. The total cost ended up being $45 and this trunk turned out amazing. So there you have it guys, those are my thrift flips today and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. If you are not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new videos on home decor, DIY, all that sort of stuff every single week and don't forget to click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, that way you are notified when I upload brand new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lone Fox Home, where I post more behind the scenes type of stuff and I also have like polls over there as you guys saw I asked like which you thought I should paint the little screws on the trunk and green actually barely even won so thank you guys so much for your input on that. I actually did leave them green and I love the way that the trunk ended up turning out. It is such a cool and unique piece. It has a very eclectic vibe to it, which is something I have been loving lately in interior design. I'm not going to keep you for much longer. So thank you guys so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in my next one. Goodbye. 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 Oh my God.